Greetings family and welcome to another edition of Black Talk Radio where black media matters and black life definitely matters. Today is Thursday, August 2nd, 2018. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Today's video is about a black student who claims a white staffer called the cops on her while reading. Of all things, I knew that this day would come that white people would feel threatened at the sight of a black person trying to learn, God forbid. And of all places, of course it had to happen at an institution of higher learning. The irony. Nonetheless, let's explore the story. Unfortunately, this video has no audio, so therefore we're just going to go through it ourselves. A rising sophomore at Smith College says a white staffer questioned whether she was actually a student and called the cops on her for sitting down to read and eat in a common area. Quote, all I did was be black, Uma Kanute wrote on Facebook about the troubling Tuesday incident at the private all-women liberal arts college in Northampton, Massachusetts. In a video posted on Facebook, Knute captured the moment someone off camera approaches her and asks her what she's doing in the room. Well, let me just stop right there for a second. You know, for those of you who have subscribed to me and watched my videos, you pretty much have gotten a general idea of how I see things. And you should know by now that I find this highly insulting because myself, I have to wonder why is it and who do these people think that they are to be so damn arrogant to feel that you as some other human being are in a space that you don't belong when if you're a black person in this world, you were here before they even was a thought. They weren't even a thought yet. And our ancestors been on this planet. They were the last people to populate planet Earth. And they have the audacity to call the police. Which is an apparatus of their racist system. That's why they constantly use it. And they know this. Even though they try to play dumb. Well, let's put this in perspective. Here it is. You're at a institution of higher learning where you would think that greater minds would prevail. You would think that, but it's never the case. Most of the blackface incidents that we've seen, a lot of the lynch type satire, if that's what you want to call it, racist jokes and racist situations have all happened to happen at these institutions of higher learning. So I have to start wondering what is it that they're teaching or not teaching at these institutions and is are they truly institutions of higher learning? That's another valid question, but I digress. She says, she answered the question, well, I was eating lunch. I'm working the summer program, she responds calmly, her voice shaking slightly. I was just relaxing on the couch. In her post, Kanote wrote that she's working at the school over the summer as a teaching assistant and resident advisor. Quote, I am blown away at the fact that I cannot even sit down and eat lunch peacefully, she wrote. Today, someone felt the need to call the police on me while I was sitting down reading and eating in a common room at the Massachusetts school. This person didn't try to bring their concerns forward to me, but instead decided to call the police. And as I just stated for my viewers of this video, that in the system of white supremacy, 
the apparatus of the police, if that's what you want to call them, they work for white supremacy. And if you're not a white supremacist, they still work for you. That's why you use it so frequently, because you know this already. So there is no denying it. Don't come to my channel being stupid. But I digress. As she says, I did nothing wrong. I wasn't making any noise or bothering anyone, she added. Knute said it was outrageous that someone would question her presence at the school based on her race. Quote, no student, no black student should have to explain why they belong at prestigious white institutions, she wrote. I worked my hardest to get into Smith, and I deserve to feel safe on my campus. Canute said the racist staff member reported her as, quote, a suspicious black male sitting in the common room. Well, let's take a look at her picture real quick so you can understand where that statement comes from. So as you can see, my sister here has very short hair, very short cropped hair. And that's her prerogative to wear her hair just the way she wants. And I, and I, and I really don't have anything to say about that because I'm not going to be one of those type of males to try to tell a woman how to wear her hair. But I will say this. For those women like the Tamar Braxtons who are feminist, they're very feminist. They're very, very feminist, okay? But uh, very feminine, I'm sorry. But nonetheless, men don't like a woman who looks close to what they look like, if you get my drift. So with all due respect, you, again, can look however you want. But just keep that in mind that most men don't want a woman that looks like them. But I digress. We'll get back to the story. So the gist of it is that the racist staff member reported her as, quote, a suspicious black male sitting in the common room. But we'll continue. Because in another video she posted shows an unarmed captain police officer apologizing to her about the situation. So yeah, most white supremacists, instead of them taking responsibility for their foul, disgusting, deceitful actions, that which only comes from the scum of the earth, instead of them standing up like men or women, the peons that they are, instead... They send over they send over the police to apologize, or the police come over and apologize for them, and that's very unfortunate because instead of the police over apologizing to her, the police should have been handcuffing them, taking them down to jail. That's what really should have happened. And again, these so-called black politicians of whichever suasion they come from, conservative. Republican, Democrats, it doesn't, doesn't give a damn which one they come from. All of them should be working together to create some type of legislation, unfortunately, that stops people from using taxpayers' dollars and wasting our police valuable time. Because, after all, they need that extra time to visit some of the donut shops. And then the rest of the time they need to try to work at, oh, harassing people? I don't know. But anyways, she goes on to tell this guy, it's okay, she says. It's just like the kind of stuff that, like this, happens way too often where people just feel threatened. Knute demanded that Smith release the name of the staffer who reported her for no reason, so that, quote, they can confront and acknowledge the harm done to me as a student. The school said 
its policy prevents it from releasing the name of the caller. In a statement on Wednesday, Smith College said that there was, quote, nothing suspicious about the student's presence and said the behavior of the caller, quote, has no place in our community, unquote. Well, folks, we've seen it all. We've seen the pep, um, permit patty to, uh, look, everybody, all of them, they, they just call in on black folks for every little reason. There's just, there's just no limit now. Just for being black, you're getting called on. That just seems to, to be the environment we're living in. It's crazy. But those who are doing it, they should be shamed to no end shamed to no end anyway this is guru at black talk radio where black media matters thanks a lot for tuning in and don't forget to tune in to our next video peace out